<laughs> you better not throw up on my ship. Approaching jump in three, two, one. What's up guys, Mark Fleetwood here. Welcome back to the Daily Grind Trader. Today, I'm talking Ravencoin, and I'm very excited because I think Ravencoin is going to move, and it's going to move very soon. The obvious, out of the way first, not a financial advisor, not financial advice. I enjoy doing technical analysis and doing it publicly. That is it, that is it. I am not qualified to manage your money, so please, no. You trade at your own risk. You make your own moves at your own risk. Do your own due diligence. That's all I ask. If you have the opportunity, check me out on Twitter at the Daily Grind Trader. I throw all kinds of different charts and different calls out there, and retweet some other crypto guys who know as much or more than me. Yeah, your buddy Silverback is always on my feed. Um, great guy, Crypto Brando. A whole bunch of different crypto guys, different coins. If you're on Twitter and you're not on Twitter. In the cryptoverse of Twitter, you're missing out. There's a lot of great information out there. Um, also, with the channel, like if you like the videos, subscribe to the channel. I, do, I typically don't ask early in the videos, but I need to. I'm getting closer and closer to my goal. My first goal was 500 subscribers. At that point, I will be doing a 100 Ravencoin giveaway. So yeah, I'm at 362 at the time of this at the time of this video. So 500 subscribers will be a 100 Ravencoin giveaway. And the ultimate goal to break a thousand subscribers obviously monetization would be great you know i love doing this i'd love to be able to do it and i would love to be able to do it full time so that being said let's hop right into ravencoin ravencoin on a daily chart now, this thing is is looking like a thing of beauty right now there are multiple things that i love right now with ravencoin first and foremost we have validated a two wave we didn't quite hit 50%, but we were in between a 38 to and a 50, and we dropped very close, like 44, 45% drop, and that, that's enough. That, that's very much enough. The time of the drop is also important. We had 16, 17 days, 17 days of cooling off on the RSI and other indicators. All the indicators that people look for to know, hey, is this overbought? Is this oversold? How is this looking on this index? How's the volume looking? How's MACD looking? All those indicators were able to, to really cool off in 17 days of downward and sideways trading. You can see almost the entire time we've had the SARS over the top. The SARS are getting into the red channel now. This was our, this was our descending channel. Now this descending channel also, put a trend line here. I'm gonna make it red just to match. Put a nice little line straight down here from pretty much the start of the run up you've got a bull flag this is a big big bull flag and it wants to break up we entered from the bottom into the flag now we've been touching top and bottom i think i think very soon i think within within three days we will uh give it three to five days within three to five days i believe we will break out the top of this flag and we will break up and we will start ultimately like really being onto the three wave for certain. And our next stop, we're, I mean, we're going three wave town and we're not stopping until, until 50 cents. 50, AKA Ferrari F50. I'm not a rapper. You guys, if you don't know, I'm white. I'm, I'm not a rapper. I am corny. Um, <laughs> uh, let's leave that out. So we've got We've got the downward channel formed. We've got the two wave completed. We've done enough to complete this. The RSI dropped down to 52, and we're sitting around 54, 55 right now. That is perfectly fine as a starting point for a new run up. The big indicator that I need to change is the volume oscillator. Volume needs to come up. We need volume to push this. I mean, this volume is way down, like negative 40 on the oscillator. So very low volume right now which typically happens during a consolidation period. You don't want high volume when you're losing. Your, your volume, volume shrinks with consolidation. And then you need a big volume push for the buying pressure to push to create the new volatility. The new volatility going up in these big steps up like this comes from volume. 
pushing that volatility. The Arun Index, and this is one I just recently started using. I just started using this because I watch a lot of what Silverback Crypto does, and I like the way he was able to to use this as a. It is a lagging indicator, but you can also use it predictively the same way I use a MACD predictively to say, I'm looking here, and we had this big run up on the MACD. But once you start to see this hook, you know things have to start coming back down. Now, MACDs can get drunk, and they can start coming back down and pop back up and come down and pop back up. But you notice typically when they're up and start to come down and don't make it, they were below zero. This was in bearish territory. This was below the zero line of the histogram. This went way up. This shot way up above and is now coming back down towards zero. I think this will start to flatten out very shortly. And this will be the first thing I watch for. This, the first indicator that it's going to flip for me is going to be that this starts to, to round out or starts to flatten out. The Arun index right now is looking amazing. The bulls are making a push upward and the bears are coming down. This bullish cross, this bullish cross will or should, should happen very soon. And it should create buying pressure on the daily. I mean, even here, we've got a little bit of, we've got a little bit of a green wick today. That's kind of irrelevant at this point. We need a, we need a strong buying day. And honestly, since we dipped down under the 38.2 line, it's held support. And we dipped down, we bought back above, we sold right back to it, and now we right, we're at it and pushing up off of it. So the 38.2 line has been holding as a support, the 12, you know, 12, 8 line for the past couple of days. So guys, I'm not going to go into too much other detail. I think we are very close, especially on a daily chart. Now we can go into like four hour time frames, one hour time frames. But they can flip so quickly that they might not give you a good indicator of the long term. You don't typically use those for long term trends. Short term trades, small window trades, absolutely. Go to the four hour, go to the one hour. I'm talking long term, big wave action here. As short as I go to the four wave, just take a look at this four wave or the four hour. You see on the four hour, just a few days ago, you know, not even a full three days ago. We bottomed out the RSI right around 30, right around the oversold mark. That was the wake up for Raven. That was Raven's wake up call. You get oversold, you're going to bounce off. As you get overbought, you come down to the oversold, spend some time in the middle, and then you come up. This will be, this should be an opportunity to break out very quickly, very soon. Again, guys, I'm not a financial advisor. This is not financial advice. But there are multiple signals plus the pattern forming like patterns inside of patterns you have the one wave two wave three wave the two wave correction looks complete we're looking like we're getting ready to go up, up the three wave and hit major highs we have the very much bullish bull flag pattern that should break out and then break out hard we've got a bull cross imminent on the arun index looks very much like this bull cross is going to happen you know, within the next day or two on the Arun Index. The MACD looks like it's probably bottomed out and it's going to start to hook around. Now, again, this is early. Keep an eye on it. I think Ravencoin is going to make big moves very quickly. Get ready to strap yourself in because it's going to be a fun ride. And as always, guys, until the next time, peace.